Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask on Amazon, including the very popular brand, Grip Protect. You grip, we protect. That's how it works. Look it up. Let's put it in the clamper and see what's going on with this weird named mask. Weirdly named? Weirdly. Oh yeah, dude, this is, this is clamp of the day. Clamp of the day. Look at that. Very happy about the clamp. It's let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We're shooting hundreds of thousands of tiny, tiny particulates about the size of the coronavirus through this mask to see how well it will protect you. Figured you didn't have a $250,000 lab in your basement. So I'm bringing my lab to your basement. If that's where you're watching this, I don't know why you'd be in a basement. Most people don't have them, especially in Texas. Anyway, bought this on Amazon. I don't know that this is the listing because we're crazy, but I'm, not, I'm pretty sure we didn't buy a thousand masks for this. It seems like maybe they changed the listing or something. Yeah, that doesn't seem right, but this is the box for sure. Aluminum nose strap. It meets ASTM level one. So they're, they're uh, promising here a 95% uh, filtration. This machine is made to do that test, the ASTM test. Let's open the box. I like the name, I gotta say. Uh, this is hilarious. Grip Protect Procedure Ulovac. Three levels of protection. Number one, bacterial efficiency. Yeah. Number two, particulate efficiency. <laughs> Number three, fluid resistance. It's not saying how much it is, it's just saying it has those features. Our particulate filtration of 1%. Let's open this up. Oh, that's really good. Why does it always happen? Anytime I say, that's really good, that just breaks. I don't think it's gonna break on your face though. Let me try it though. Nose wire. Really long ear loops though. Not gonna break on your face, but they're a little long for me and scratchy. It's very scratchy on the ends. There's a very slight plasticky smell. I'm gonna call this, uh, was in a grocery store bag for too long. The reusable ones, obviously, because. Oh, there's a bug in here. That's neat. Hmm. Gross. <laughs> uh, okay, so remember, they are promising. They didn't say there wouldn't be any bugs, people. They didn't claim that. They didn't say there'd be any bugs. Yeah, it's a protein. Uh, so remember, they're claiming ASTM level one, which is exactly what this guy is meant to test. 95%. What does it say? Okay, 93.391. Now here's the thing. Um, depending how long this has been sitting and uh, a, a lot of different things, this could have met standard when it left the factory. And that's why when, you know, we want our mask to be 99% when they're here in the warehouse or in the, in the lab, because we know once they leave, you know, things can deteriorate. So I'm not gonna ding them for that. I, I think that they're probably meeting that standard and this particular way we tested it, you know, it's, there's so many variables that it's hard to tell. Plus, when you do the testing for these types of things, you're doing 20, 30 samples. So we just did one real quick, because, you know, I ain't your lab. <laughs> just a, this is not a real lab coat. You know that, right? I just found this. Uh, anyway, so nicely put together. Um, pretty affordable, actually. 10 cents a piece, is that right? It's really cheap. Um, and I made fun of the packaging, but actually I, I don't mind it. So not a bad product, just under standards, but I, I think they're pretty good. What was the breathability? 71. 71, well, it's pretty good as well. All right, then guys, thanks so much for watching. I uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this. You know, you're the best for sticking with me. Honestly, really, really do appreciate you guys. And uh, we're, we're trying something out that's, uh, you know, may be a treat to you, may not be. I don't know. It depends what you feel about this channel. But we are, we're going to drop another one of these videos every day until the end of the year. Every day. That's right. So join me every day at 10 a.m. Central, and I will see you at the next time.